We are now firmly entrenched in an eastern trough in the United States, and that will allow a couple of disturbances to make their way down to the eastern U.S. from the northwestern part of the country and into Canada. Alberta Clippers, haven't heard those for a while. We've got a couple of those that are trying to develop and make their way toward the Ohio Valley. 7 a.m. surface map Monday morning, it looks like this. You can see a trough dipping southward across the northern part of Ohio and some scattered snow showers here and there on the map. Uh, we've got a warm front located out here in the uh, western, midwestern part of the United States into the Mississippi Valley. That'll make its way northward across the Ohio Valley Monday night into the day on Tuesday. Tuesday will be pretty mild, all things considered, as that first clipper type system moves its way southeastward. They pull the warm air up and then they pass through the area and they resupport or uh, help build back up the cooler air once they move out of the area. Now, a closer look of the Ohio Valley looks like this. You can see temperatures ranging from 18 degrees at Versailles in the western part of Ohio to 28 degrees located down here at Gallipolis, our favorite location down there along the Ohio River. Always warm during the mornings down there unless it's uh, cold and then it's cold, right? <laughs> Always one of the warmer locations. You can see the lake effect snow also. Numerous uh, lake effect snow warnings, lake effect snow advisories, and special weather statements located in the northeast quarter of Ohio. Typical lake effect snows up in that part of the state. And it looks like they'll probably continue on and off for most of the work week, the way things look at this point in time. Your traveler's forecast for Ohio on the day Tuesday looks like this. Well, it's going to moderate quite a bit. Temperatures will approach 50 degrees down here along the Ohio River, albeit a brief warm-up. It will be a temporary break. And you can see your temperatures and weather and patterns across the remainder of the state. There could be some more scattered snow showers or rain showers in the far eastern part of Ohio as a result of that lake effect and uh, the warmer air trying to advect northward across the Buckeye State from the warm front ahead of that next clipper system that will make its way through here. With that in mind, let's take a look at your official National Weather Service five-day forecast. Albeit, we may be nickeled and dimed to death because of these different storm systems moving their way through the Ohio Valley every 36 hours or so. The good thing is we're not going to break out into any terribly bitterly cold temperatures the way it looks for quite some time.